Will ChatGPT soon be considered an AGI and be more intelligent than humans and ultimately turn against the human race? Well, 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 not according to this 90 page PDF from Ben Gertzel. It claims that ChatGPT and other LLMs will never be truly intelligent and are not a viable path toward AGI due to fundamental architectural issues. I read all the 90 pages so that you don't have to. Let's get into it. You can basically split the paper into three, three main sections. Section one talks about intelligence, tries to define intelligence and how you should think about it in terms of achieving AGI. Section two compares current LLMs and what they are capable of with our definition of intelligence and respectively human intelligence and points out fundamental differences. And section three ultimately talks a little bit about what could be viable paths toward AGI. So first of all, what does AGI even mean? And how do we know that we've achieved it? AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence and means that the AI is capable of performing general tasks and not just narrow specific tasks like most of today's AIs. The paper goes into a very in-depth definition and introduces different terms that I will all spare you here to make it much simpler. If you want further details, you can read the paper. I link it down in the description below. But now let's jump into a few things that the paper mentions about general intelligence on page 8. Here the paper says that general intelligence involves the ability to achieve a variety of goals and carry out a variety of tasks in a variety of different contexts and environments. A generally intelligent system should be able to handle problems and situations quite different from those anticipated by its creators. A generally intelligent system should be good at generalizing the knowledge it has gained, so as to transfer its knowledge from one problem or context to others. According to our observations of humans and various theoretical perspectives, the following traits, among many others, are typically associated with general intelligence. Reasoning, creativity, association, generalization, pattern recognition, problem solving, memorization, planning, achieving goals, learning, optimization, self-preservation, sensory data processing, language processing, classification, induction, deduction and abduction. So the ability for transfer thinking and learning in many different areas and coming up with original solutions is an important point. We already have computer and AI systems that are much more intelligent than humans in very specific areas, but are incredibly stupid in other areas. The paper argues for something to be considered AGI, it would need to be at least as intelligent as people in each significant dimension on which humans are intelligent. When it comes to the intelligence of current LLMs, they have a very close scope. Humans are more open-ended. But what does intelligence even mean? Sounds like a very important question to answer first if we want to know how and when we can achieve AGI. And turns out defining intelligence is not that easy. Over the years there have been various attempts. I won't go through all of them mentioned in the paper. And to be honest, a few maybe flew a little bit over my head, but let's go through some of them to make the point clear that defining intelligence is not that easy and straightforward as you may think. First, we have the pragmatic approach, which basically says once an AI obsoletes humans in most of the practical things we do, it should be understood to possess general human level intelligence. Then, of course, we have the psychological characterization of intelligence expressed as IQ, or the approach that defines multiple different intelligences, such as linguistic, logical mathematic, musical, bodily kinesthetic, spatial, 
interpersonal, intrapersonal, naturalist, and existential. Another approach says that general intelligence can be seen as adaptation to the environment using limited resources. A system may be said to have greater intelligence if it can adapt effectively to more general class of environments within realistic resource constraints. As you can see, there are multiple approaches, and according to some, we may or may not be close to AGI. But generally, the paper says that true intelligence, in a way that we understand it, will not be achieved by LLMs, which stays in contradiction to the current AGI community, where the vibe tends to be that incremental improvement of current DNN systems, as narrow or close scope as they might currently be, is likely to lead step by step to AGI. The paper goes on to describe human intelligence more in depth, starting with explaining the standard model of mind and other cognitive functions such as memory and learning. I won't go too in depth here, just a brief look at this paragraph, which I found very interesting. Here the paper argues that human intelligence is based on our environment and our evolution within it and the different adaptions we made because of it, such as keeping a human body alive, finding a mate, mating, raising children, helping raise grandchildren, pursuing complexly interrelated goals, that are operative over multiple timescales, carrying out multimodal perception and a variety of forms of actions in the context of a portion of the universe consisting largely of hierarchically composed solid objects, with some fluids of various sorts around as well, communicating with other similar agents in a shared physical environment, including communication about how to work toward a shared goals. This communication may have multiple aspects, including linguistic, gestural, attentional, pointing for instance, demonstrative, acting things out, perceptual, making drawings or 3D models. So the last two points basically say that we evolved in an environment where we had to interact with mostly solid things and a few fluids and that we had to communicate with one another about various different things. I think this is a very good assessment, especially with me being a biology nerd. Looking at how humans evolved and our intelligence being an evolutionary adaption based on how humans interact with the environment will always be a key factor that separates our intelligence from the intelligence of possible AGIs. If this is a limiting factor for us, because our intelligence is tied to more mundane things like dying or mating, or if this is maybe an advantage because our intelligence is more adapted in various situations, well, this remains to be seen. Looking at LLMs again, the paper states that the practical strengths of current LLMs are by now well known. And I guess we can all agree on that. They are very impressive in specific use cases. But these strengths are coupled with a significant number of striking and important weaknesses, which in my opinion makes very clear why LLMs aren't a viable path towards AGI, or as the paper states, what we have here instead seems to be a strange and unprecedented sort of cognitive system with some very powerful and very human-like capabilities, but also with dramatic cognitive shortcomings that do not appear to be remedi remediable? <laughs> remediable without radical architectural changes or additions. One of the most well-known weaknesses is of course their tendencies to hallucinate or bullshit. And I think we all have experience with that by now. But what I find very interesting is the reason why this happens, which in my opinion and as far as I understand this paper is a fundamental reason why LLMs will never turn into AGI. As the paper states on page 31, the underlying metric for which transformer neural nets are typically trained is to output the character most likely to come next in a given sequence. In hindsight, this approach is extremely well designed for coming up with plausible sounding bullshit. Another shortcoming LLMs have is a capability of world modeling. 
They can basically reason and discuss about the world and what the world looks like based on language patterns, but they don't have an internal model of what the world actually is. Also, they have a very limited theory of mind. Let's look at the example for a theory of mind puzzle given in the paper for better understanding. Here's a bag filled with popcorn. There's no chocolate in the bag. Yet, the label on the bag says chocolate and not popcorn. Sam finds the bag. She had never seen the bag before. She cannot see what is inside the bag. She reads the label. So basically small children wouldn't know that Sam doesn't know what is inside the bag. Because they know what is inside the bag. They don't have a theory of mind yet. This means they cannot distinguish between what they know and what Sam knows. For them, it's all the same knowledge. While it was claimed that ChatGPT 3.5 and other models performed excellent in theory of mind puzzles, this was questioned and turns out the puzzle ChatGPT solved had actually occurred in its training data or bear simple and close resemblance to others that are contained in the literature. Giving ChatGPT other theory of mind tests, it shows that actually evaluated on such tests, ChatGPT does not perform particularly well at theory of mind puzzles. Further, it states that what it very often does is generate plausible looking answers that don't actually make any sense. Hallucinating a theory of mind is not the same as having one. Which brings us back with the initial issue that LLMs come up with the character that's most likely to come next, which is very good to come up with plausible sounding bullshit. Other problems are for example issues with very basic math. While GPT-4 can sometimes solve very complex problems, it also often has problems with the most basic and fundamental things. As the paper states, an even vaguely human-like mind once it had learned how to do these processes, would not make elementary mistakes. And one more problem is a huge banality or lack of creativity for things such as poetry. Which brings us back to the fundamental issue, or as stated in the paper, predicting the most probable continuation of a sequence is, in practice, an awkward way to proceed if you're looking for utterance that fulfills some other metric like truthfulness interestingness or aesthetic quality. The paper goes on to compare LLMs to the human mind in various different aspects. Here is just a top overview of them. Episodic memory, working memory, procedural memory, reasoning, Reinforcement learning, language learning and usage, multimodal perception, action learning and coordinated action, goal refinement and goal system management, reflexive self understanding, modeling and understanding of other minds. What basically all of these state is that LLMs are way worse than human minds and cannot achieve human-like capabilities without fundamental architectural changes to them. Which is a result of how LLMs work, predicting the most likely character that comes next. Of course, LLMs can have amazing real-world use cases, especially in combination with other tools. An example the paper gives is a music search engine, where you can use natural language, so instead of using musical terms like genre, tempo or instrument, you can just describe what you want in your own natural language. Another example would probably be the existing combination of ChatGPT with Wolfram Alpha. But adding things on top of LLMs is not what will give us AGI at one point, as the paper states here. However, it is important to understand that this fascinating and revolutionary usage of LLMs, like all the others, and there are going to be a lot, is something that will be crafted carefully, domain by domain, by humans with expert knowledge using judicious prompt engineering to work around the profound cognitive limitations of the underlying LLMs. 
So how could AGI be achieved then? The paper argues that tweaks can be made and other components can be added for great improvement, but ultimately the cognitive functions of LLMs will never be able to lead to AGI without a fundamental different architecture. The paper argues that LLMs could be one part of a whole when achieving AGI, but not the main part, as stated on page 74. An alternate approach to leveraging LLMs towards the goal of AGI, distinct from the strategy of adding components onto LLMs, is to insert LLMs among the multiple components of a multi-module AGI architecture, in which the LLM is not necessarily the central or controlling element, but nonetheless makes a critical contribution to the overall system intelligence. There's another 100-page paper from Ben Goertzel that goes exactly into this aspect. How could AGI be achieved? If you want me to make another video about that and explain it to the best of my understanding, let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, I hope you found this as interesting as I did. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and right over here is a video that YouTube thinks you should watch.